Hey, what's going on, guys? I ain't done something from the park in a while. And it is a beautiful day today. I mean, you couldn't ask for more perfect weather. Beautiful Monday, uh, <clears throat> late afternoon here. Coming from Ohio. And I want to just share something on my heart, okay? How God just keeps humbling pastors. Every pastor who's run their mouth against this ministry. And I've explained to you, you know, because I, I did a, put out a video on Friday going deep into the agony and the pain of what I've carried in this ministry, the beating I've been taking, you know, even down to how it's affected me at times through my health and what I've gone through to defend, to defend the gospel, to defend the true word of God in this hour. And the Lord see the thing is, the Lord sees all that. You know, and what he says better than a millstone will be hung ar wrapped around your neck and thrown to the bottom of the of the sea than to offend the least of my little ones. You know, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. The list goes on, right? So I made a, a, a stance for the gospel. And when you're making a stance for the gospel, you're preaching against spirits, right? You're calling out Satan, how he works. So God works through man and women, okay? He has prophetess. Anna was a prophetess. I was reading about her the other day. You know, God works through men in the, in the sense of the fivefold ministry. God don't call women to preach. So God has to work through men and, men and women, right, to do his, his bidding, to fulfill his word. What does Satan do? He works through men and women also. Okay, I just want to... So when I'm preaching the word of God... And I'm calling things out. I'm calling if people get called out personally, because I'm calling out that's a spirit. I'm coming right at it because there's a spirit on that person's life that is anti-Christ, that is against the word, that is that is affecting what God is doing, right? So I'll upload this to my channel. Um, I may not put it on my Facebook page. But I want to say this. Something just happened today. I, um, been dealing with this my whole life. See, people have trouble with me. The, the, the church and the unbeliever and the make-believer have trouble with me because they don't stay with the Word. There's, in, their, in their doctrine, in their spirit, is something that rubs them wrong because it's Antichrist. It's religious demons. It's the spirit of Judas. The spirit of Diotrephus, and I think it's like Third John. Read about him. It's the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of Nicolaitanism. The list goes on. Okay. So, I recently became a a dealer for a national mattress company. Okay. And um, two pastors, right? So. You know, the love of money is the root of all evil, right? So people want money. People, you know, money is what drives these, these churches, these ministries. So that they, so the guy told me, he looked at my YouTube channel a little bit, checked out, seen my Facebook page, just how he decided when he contacted me back. My point is they're aware of where I stand in the gospel, right? So, but they want to make money. They see a guy's a business owner. I've had great success in a small town market. So we'll overlook his stance in the Word of God, because it it's calls out who we are. It exposes the spirit in our churches and comes after it. But I'm going to tell you something. How God, again, continues to silence my enemies. Something just has taken place right now today. So, they have a Facebook group. Come down and train me in, like, May, I think it was. Never once posted about me on their group. Welcome, you know, Paul, Mattress, uh, you know, blah, 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 from Ohio, blah, 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 you know. Did not give me any acknowledgement or credit of, what, of opening a new location for them. They just opened two new stores, one in Texas and one in Florida. But, oh, I tell you what, the, I've seen the pictures, the look they carry, these kind of, the people, they're the kind of people that fit their, their spirit, 
their religiosity. Oh, they posted about them. They put their picture public. Oh, welcome to the team, right? Okay. Folks, this is what I've been doing my whole life. But I want, to show, I want to show you something lastly here, how God humbles us all. See, God is with the rejected. God is with the broken. God is the one that God ends up finding in the end is the one you never think. It's the guy who's a downright just freaking out, alcoholic. The guy's a drug addict, a woman who's a prostitute, who's got a bad past. Maybe she's made a lot of bad mistakes, and one day she comes to Christ and breaks, like Mary Magdalene, right? Had the seven demons. God delivered her. Those are the ones that Jesus goes after. It's the ones the church and the world never sees could be one that could become his child is the one, the, the homosexual, the whatever, right? That's the one God comes along and saves and sets free, you know? It's these self-righteous Pharisee church leaders that are all under judgment. So, had a conversation about two weeks ago with one, the partner of the group. He's, he's a former pastor who explained to me that church, basically church is a business. Well, you, you ain't going to tell me that. I know exactly what it is. All these churches are a business, man. How he built, they, how he helped build a church through marketing, a whole marketing scheme to build a church where you people are resting and trusting your souls in. You're trusting your eternal, your eternal destination in the hands of these false leaders of men. Okay, so you all know where I've been standing for over three and a half years publicly, calling, coming out against it as a voice crying in the wilderness for the Lord Jesus Christ in this hour and laying the axe to the root, down and coming against these messages of the hour pastors. And I preached the message last night on my channel. Boy, I had, ch I had church. And I'm going to release that Friday against that little life church there in Michigan. Paul the Fontaine got the things I found out. I found a scene in that church. God's going to expose it publicly. And that will be released Friday. Because God raised this ministry up to expose it so the sheep can get set free. Because the, it's, it's the sheep that are mourning. It's the sheep that are hurting. It's the sheep that are, that are, that are under the system. And I'm coming after them to expose the, the, the false leaders. So let me say this last thing. Let me get off here. So about two weeks ago, me and the guy, the, other, the arrogant other lead, business leader, the pastor, so arrogant. So he's the number one store. He's a prideful, arrogant man. Okay? Stubborn man. He's a Taurus. I know a little bit about them. Had a dad the same way, right? So, that's why I'm going to walk this way. I'm going to walk and talk. So, anyways, I start sharing with, sharing with him the Word of God, how we're under judgment now, right now. And all the things going on in the land, the fires, the, the weather, all the different things. It's God who has released his judgment angels. This has already been prophesied and spoken through, through, through God's voice, through this hour, through, through this ministry that God has raised me up to do. He starts mocking it, basically. Oh, that's just a lie. Oh, that's fake news. Blah, 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 right? So, right where they're at, they're going to get hit with a, with a hurricane that keeps growing from a cat one that's growing bigger and bigger. And I saw today the group that wouldn't post, wouldn't, didn't want to identify with me. All Florida, all Florida locations, all the deliveries are going to be, we're going to be withheld this week because the oncoming hurricane, okay? See, I'm, I'm trying to, I have a message on this channel called The Secret. How God is writing judgment in this hour. He's not necessarily coming right at you personally yet. He's, it's all the things around you, like in the days of Pharaoh. Catch it. God kept dropping judgments all around, everything around Pharaoh. And then finally in the end, God swallowed up Pharaoh's army. That time's coming, folks, I'm telling you. So either your pastors repent and hear what God is saying in this hour or continue to bring judgment on your lives. Because you ain't coming against me. You're coming against Jesus Christ, the Word. All of you. Every person who spoke against this ministry come against it. You brought judgment all around your lives. Because I'm pointing you to the Word. It ain't about me. I ain't, got, I ain't making no money off this. Y'all, I, I put that video out Friday. Telling you the agony and the suffering I have gone through for this ministry. For the gospel of Jesus Christ. So anyways, I just want to share that today. I'll be releasing that message I preached last night on, on Friday. And uh, I actually got one coming out tonight. So God bless you all.